All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the app and some of the features of the app. Bear with me on this because it's going to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to have to video another phone. So hopefully it'll come out pretty good. But this is the app right here, the Job Link app. So you just click on that. It usually takes anywhere from 5 or 10 seconds up to about a minute for it to load the screens. But once it comes up, this is what you're going to see. Now, when you first get the app, it's going to, excuse me, it's going to require you to start an account, essentially, where you give it a username, a password, that kind of stuff. I believe that is more for, because it is free, um, I believe that's more for the options that you have for um, having team members and the live look where you're actually sharing data with one another. I believe that's mostly what that's for. Um, it doesn't ask for a whole lot of information, and you can even just give it any information you want and it takes it so but um, this is going to be the screen that you see when it first comes up once you once you set up your account and you can go to new job where you put in your customers information again I apologize I'm looking through one screen trying to tap on another one but it's going to give you all your uh, job information that you want to fill out if you want to keep track of it and it will save that information and this is going to be your actual app screen that's going to show you all your all your numbers, all your data. When you first log into that, I don't have any of the probes turned on right now. So it's actually looking for the probes. I'm just going to hit OK until I go to turn those on. But this is the app. You can pull down a couple screens. It gives you to enter the manual CFMs. Eventually, Field Piece is supposed to come out with uh, some type of anemometer. Um, in order to get that data without having to manually input. It does give you the option for system mode, whether it's heat or cool. I don't think that feature really works very well. Um, only reason I say that is because when you do go to heat mode, if you scroll down to outdoor temperature, every time you click it, it scrolls down a little bit farther. So you got to click it one more time. And as you can see right here, your outdoor dry bulb, it only gives you the options between 50 and 120 degrees. Um, obviously, if you're running in heat mode and heat pumps, you're more than likely going to be well under that 50 degrees most of the time. Um, and once you click into the screen, you can't back out. Um, it requires you to put in some figure. So I'm just going to put in a number so I can get out of the screen. And then you can see it reflects your outdoor temperature right there hit select refrigerant and it will bring up a great big list of a bunch of different refrigerants most of them are on here um, hopefully there is a way to add and subtract refrigerants I haven't discovered that on the app yet and another thing none of the books or anything really give you any sort of tutorials on the app itself so from my experience it's pretty much trial and error um, just kind of navigating it yourself and uh, and seeing what things do or don't do but that's pretty much it it also gives you the option for evacuation which uses the s-man probes um, excuse me the s-man manifolds because the job link probes don't do microns um, not a huge fan of that because I don't really like pulling vacuums through manifolds but that is an option if you have the s-mans um, linked up with the job link probes you can do that option if you choose also, you have the electrical section with the SC clamp meters um, that are job link compatible. You can do the same thing here where you can connect the tools and do your um, efficiency tests and things of that nature. But in a nutshell, that's pretty much what it is as far as the nuts and bolts of the main app itself. Um, but we'll go ahead and turn a couple of these on. And they usually link up really quickly. There you go. Turn the other one on. There you go. And you can see they link up pretty quickly. I do notice a lot of the times they, and they didn't do it right now, but once they are hooked up, several times they'll sort of disconnect and reconnect. It's very, very brief. Um, which isn't a huge deal when you're just looking at this screen and you're just looking at the data. 
I think it will become an issue or it could become an issue when you are trying to trend data. Um, that feature is not set up yet on these um, on the field piece probe apps. Uh, it says in the manuals, and I've heard online that it's coming out, it's coming out, but I haven't seen anything on it. Um, that feature currently does not work. Um, but that, that would be a little bit of a concern if you're trending data and each time your probe drops out and reconnects if you're losing that section of data um, or if it will start the trend all over again. I'm not really sure how that will work. Um, another issue on that subject that I just wanted to go over really quickly is I notice on most other apps, pretty much all of the, the smart tools that I've personally used, um, when you have the app open and you sync your tools, the program will continue to operate in the background without issue and you can just pull it right back up and you're good to go. I found with this app that when you actually back out, although the app is still running in the background, it goes back to the main screen, then when you click measurements again, you can see nothing's connected and the probes actually have to take a few seconds to reconnect. That's a concern with if your phone goes into sleep mode, if it's going to continue to trend data or if you're just going to lose information for that time. Um, so I'd like to, uh, to see if they can make the app better in that aspect so it actually continues to update the data and stream the data in the background instead of just being in the foreground. But we'll go ahead and uh, hook these up to the unit and we'll take a look at how they work in real time. I'm not really going to go over too much on the uh, Bluetooth range. Um, that's pretty much been beaten into the ground with all the other reviews that have been out there. In a nutshell, the range is the best out there as far as the smart probes go. I've done several reviews on uh, three different types of probes. Um, and these, from all the information that I'm getting on the internet and from my personal experience, are at or exceeding those ranges um, without issue. So the biggest concern is where they drop out and reconnect. Um, again, it's very, very quickly. It's very minor when you're looking at the information. But if you had to trend it for some reason, uh, that, could, that could, be a, could be an issue. But let's, like I said, we're going to go ahead and hook these up to a unit and see how they work in the field.